Okay, well done. You're nearly there. There's only one more lesson after this one, so now we're on to lesson 11. And in lesson 11, we're going to look at quantity and articles. First of all, we're going to look at ways of expressing quantity. But before we do that, we're going to look at countable and uncountable nouns, because it's all linked to expressions of quantity. Some examples of countable nouns a boy, a car, an egg, a horse, an orange, and a pen. And some examples of uncountable nouns we have bread, music, grass, sand, tea, and water. We can say two boys, we can say three horses, we can say four pens, because we can, one, two, three, four, count them. However, we cannot say two breads, three grasses, four waters, because we can't count them. Countable nouns can be singular or plural. For example, this egg is broken, one egg. Or, these eggs are broken, many eggs. So, expressions of quantity, we're going to look at much and many first. We use much with uncountable nouns in questions and negative forms. For example, how much sugar is there? Or negative form, I haven't much money left. We use many with countable nouns in questions and negative forms. An example of this, how many students are in your class? Negative form, I don't know many people at the gym. Some other ways of expressing quantities, some and any. Some is used in positive sentences. For example, I'd like some tea. Any is used in questions and negative sentences. An example of this, are there any potatoes left? 